The Cedar Falls Community School District has been doing maker challenges for the past four years for all of our students. These challenges are meant to build resiliency and provide an opportunity for students to be creative, collaborate and communicate with each other effectively, and think critically to solve the challenges. I think the tech team does an awesome job because they send out a video that explains it to the kids, what they're going to be doing, and then there's always a lesson plan that you can look at. I liked the mini golf challenge. That was probably the most engaging one out of all five, and they really loved it. Like, they loved playing them. They loved getting, we went around all three classrooms actually in fifth grade and we got to play all the mini golf courses and that was super fun. I would say my students' favorite challenge was definitely the boats. Um, every time we see pictures of it, they're like, the boat race! So that was their favorite. I think just because they actually got to put it to the test. The great one was probably my favorite just because that was like a real life scenario where they were like, okay, life or death right now. <laughs> like, am I gonna get to take my phone on this trip or am I not going to get to take my phone on this trip? And um, I think it was fun to see like them look at other people's ideas and well, they got this thing by having something sticky on there so they could grab that. So I just right. think it was fun to see them use other people's ideas too. Like we could work together to make this instead. Because even at the beginning when something was hard, they might give up where that last one with the boat, um, a teacher would say, oh, what could you do? Could you push here, blow here um, to make it go faster? And they were like, yes, and they started ripping it apart where at the beginning of the year, if they had to change something, that might um, overwhelm them or they might not want to. Be like, this isn't working, let's start over. Because usually when we think of starting over, we're thinking of giving up. And like learning that being resilient and pushing forward isn't just about finding a way to make it work, but sometimes starting over and finding a way to fix what you have. Realizing it's okay to make mistakes, their first run through at things isn't always the best and usually it's not the best. So we have found that uh, just that feeling of making mistakes is okay and to keep trying and keep trying and you will get it and just that not give up attitude. I think some of my student groups were more easily able to persevere knowing that they could lean on their group if they were kind of stretched for like feeling frustrated or whatever so I think again the group aspect of it helped build that resiliency in a positive way. I feel like we've talked a lot about growth mindset this year um, and it's just one of those things that before we start it like we say like you're not going to get it perfect this first time like it's okay to not get it perfect this first time and we talk about that a lot like before we start this but then like I feel like this shows them I can do it and then when they go to a new challenging task in a different subject area, like we talk about that again, like the boats were harder, the pumpkin catapult was hard. And so it's really made them be able to persevere in that way. To watch them with their creativity um, and figuring out how to solve a problem and then having to fix that problem if it doesn't work the way they thought that it was supposed to or that it should work um, and truly the joy. I, I loved the joy the, that they had doing those projects. I think the biggest thing um, is the innovation and the creativity that comes out. I think it's a part of their day that um, there are a lot of rules and they get to do whatever and think of a solution and there are a lot of parameters. So I think for a lot of my kids, it's a time in their day that um, they can come and create and just be and do. It's in the circle! They were challenged to kind of be uncomfortable, whether that was working in a group or because we had kind of a time constraint or because of the materials provided. And I think sometimes that uncomfortableness can stretch your creativity and your critical thinking. And so those skills kind of, you know, it's what we wanted to get out of them, but they came as a bonus. I see things in them that I wouldn't see in a normal classroom setting with just our everyday math and reading and curriculum, things like that. Um, they work together. Uh, I always give my kids the option to work together, to work by themselves, whatever works for them. And I just see leadership skills that come through what I wouldn't see in a normal everyday classroom. I see um, their creativity shine through. I see them persevere and not give up. So we talked about what leadership qualities you need to have in order to be able to work together as a team. So that synergy 
habit that we were focusing on, we really just dove into the Makerspace challenge and we talked about what synergy means. We also talked about finding your voice in that last challenge because that was a habit we're working on. Like, how can you tell your team what you are thinking? I think like they mentioned before, seeing some of these kids be able to step up into a leadership role or kind of have their time to shine when maybe they don't get to do that with normal academic areas. Um, so it's just kind of fun to see some of those students get that time to shine. I think they have to totally use a different part of their brain. I mean, you see kids come out and shine, the ones that maybe take a step back normally mm -hmm. during regular content time. This is their chance to come out and use their other side of their brain that they don't always get to when they're creating and working together and solving problems in a way that I would have never thought of. It kind of throws them into a situation that's a little bit more real life. Like they have to be presented a problem in order to be able to try to solve it. They have to think before they can actually get with the team. So I think it teaches them those not really um, soft skills anymore, right? Those are really important skills that we need our, our people as they're growing to be able to solve problems with other people and communicate with what they want and what they don't want. And so Absolutely. that's what I think is really cool about the Makerspace challenges.